This video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. Hey, hey, thanks for slithering in. I am Simdarin. Welcome back to my channel and to another speed build in The Sims 4. Before we get started, thanks to EA and the EA Creator Network for giving me a game code for the new Love Struck expansion pack. And because of that, I was able to tackle my biggest fear, and that is building penthouses. The ones we have with City Living, those lots are huge and very scary. But these, we have a 20 by 15 and a 20 by 20. We're here on the 2015 and I did it. <laughs> so I'm glad you guys are along for the ride. But before we even get really, really into this build, I do want to remind you guys that if you do choose to purchase this pack or any Sims 4 DLC, you can use my creator code Simtherin and that's popped up on the screen here. My only piece of beef when building on this lot was how the camera just kept jumping around all over the place. This tends to happen a lot when you have high elevation in the game. I've experienced it a ton, especially the more you manipulate the terrain and things. So I guess it shouldn't be surprising that it would happen here on a penthouse lot way up high in the city, <laughs> but it's okay. I tried to cut out as much of that as I could. So just a fair warning, you may have a little bit of a jump scare every so often. Not really a jump scare. You know what I mean. Anyway, we have the shape of this build pretty much figured out. And I use these like modern looking windows, but it wasn't until later that I actually saw the name of these windows. And these are the windows, how silly of me, that we could build our own like little showers with. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I guess technically they can be used for exterior windows, but that's not really also the purpose of them, but they're really nice windows. So I don't care. I'm going to use them anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, this build, unlike my last one with the pack, I did not limit my pack usage. So we're going to see a lot of different packs coming through. We got modern Lux. We have eco lifestyle. I'm pretty sure Get Famous and stuff is in here. Uh, what else? Pastel Pop. That was a good one too. You guys will see it. So it was a ton of fun. I really enjoyed this build and I definitely want to do another penthouse sometime soon. There's another penthouse lot, but I think I'm going to have to take a break for a minute because <laughs> modern isn't something that comes easy to me, but I do really like how this one came out. So you guys are going to let me know. I originally thought I was going to go with this gorgeous like blue pull trim, but I end up switching that up and doing like a darker one and kind of get, getting it more of a like a moody kind of romantic vibe. Not that the blue is not romantic, I should say that, but once I got the wallpaper on the outside here, it, it just didn't fit well anymore. I think another reason why penthouses were so weird for me was because I really do enjoy landscaping and there's no like landscape <laughs> on penthouse builds, you know? So I tried to combat that by using platforms around the front and kind of trying to add some levels and stuff. So you guys are going to have to let me know how that worked. Uh, I like it. I think it was fun and we definitely have some green roofing and trying to bring some of that green in was very hard but i think i managed okay it's also very green on the inside uh this pack comes with a lot of good green swatches and i i don't know i really like green <laughs> so i don't know what to tell you but my last one was very colorful this one it's not like too super dark and moody but it's a little more dark and moody but I am itching to build another build with this pack. I have a couple of ideas, so I don't know which one I'm going to use next. But this is one of the moments where the camera is definitely a little more jumpy than what I would like it to be. So apologies for that. But we're trying to figure out the wallpaper. And I think I end up using this wood like paneling from the Book Nook kit. We use the Deluxe no, not the Deluxe, the Desert Lux wallpaper. That one was nice. And then some brick accents here and there. It was good. I really like how it came out. The layout came out pretty easy, I think, as well, too. But I was like, oh, I don't have a lot of space inside here. So we have a one-bedroom. We have a open kind of concept 
living kitchen dining. There is that little balcony in the back where I end up putting a chess table and a telescope and a litter box because I imagine that this sim or I guess this bachelor is what I'm calling it like a bachelor penthouse. I assume that he has a cat. I didn't think a dog would do well here. Maybe you guys think otherwise but I, I couldn't imagine having a dog in a penthouse. That's just me. <laughs> but you guys can tell me if I'm wrong or right or silly for that. But we're just going to get some lighting here. But we're going to hop into the interior really soon. So I want you guys to tell me if you did get this pack. What are you enjoying so far? I hear a lot of good things about the gameplay. I know the build and buy is kind of all over the table a little bit. I think I mentioned it in my last one where you're not quite sure what style it is. There's like modern pieces, there's more traditional pieces. It's kind of a really like mesh kind of thing and it's kind of weird to get a gauge on that. But I've seen a lot of cool create a sim stuff too. So that's been nice. I am trying to use this backsplash piece with the, and I'm, I always butcher it, the axolotl. I hope I'm saying that right, but I feel like I always butcher it. I'm trying to use it here, but I just felt like it was too colorful. So I've made a mental note to make sure to use it in my next build. So stay tuned because it's really cute. Instead, I end up getting like the tiling, this one that came, it's supposed to be for a pool, but I kind of liked how the black kind of popped in here. So it was kind of fun. For the kitchen, at first I decided to use like this light wood tone, but I end up switching it to a darker wood tone. It, that might be off camera, so just so you know, it's going to look different in the screenshots later. Um, throughout the build, I was trying to like combine the blacks, the dark woods, and the light wood tones because of the windows. They have kind of like that light wooden metal framing. And I was trying to pull that into the interior, but then I also leaned towards a lot of the blacks and dark woods. So... Again, it kind of looks like the wood tones are a little all over the place. So, yikes. But you guys are going to have to tell me if I managed to make it look good at all. We're grabbing some more book nook stuff here. Just a bookshelf, just for something. I imagine that this bachelor is pretty, like, well-rounded as far as his skills. Maybe he's well-read. Maybe he has a ton of hobbies. We've got, like I said, we've got a chess table. I have the telescope on the top floor. We have some workout equipment. Um, I just think that that's just kind of his vibe. I do end up putting a shelf over here in one of these corners with a bunch of like knickknacks and artifacts. So maybe he also likes to travel. And maybe that's also why he has a cat. Because with a cat, you can kind of leave him alone for a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Let me talk, okay? Whew, tripping over my words. I am sorry. But you can leave a cat alone for a little bit. And as long as they have enough food and water, they're pretty much good to go, you know? And, you know, obviously the litter box. So I did put, like, the automatic litter box cleaner thingy out here on this patio balcony thing. However, now that I'm thinking about it, the bowls that I put in the kitchen, those aren't the automatic feeder ones. So if you choose to do that, you might want to switch those out because the other ones just look nicer. I think I got ones from my first pet stuff. Uh, so if you don't have that, but you can definitely switch that out with cats and dogs very easily. I felt like using this fireplace. I think this is from, oh, is that paranormal? It's either paranormal. I think it's paranormal actually. Um, but I thought it was really nice and it paired well in the space. And then, of course, the new couch that we got from the pack and the new love seat. I mean, the chair, the lounge chair. But I loved pairing it with this pastel pop kit rug. And I kind of, that happened kind of on a whim where I was like, well, I wonder if there's something in here that might look well, like, or look good. I really can't speak today. Wow, what a rough day for this voiceover. <laughs> anyway, uh, but... I really love that pop with the blacks and the whites and the greens. It's such a nice vibe. I enjoyed it very much. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. 
We're also popping a TV up here and some of the things that I am changing the height of, I had to use with just BB.moves objects, that cheat, and raising the nine and zero keys because the tool mod has not been updated yet. And that's okay because even modders have lives and they have things to do. So um, if you do download this build, which it is available on the gallery and some things are floating, I'm sorry. I did my best to kind of work around that, but one day it'll be fixed. I think one of my favorite spaces here is definitely this wide open door kind of walking out into this back patio. It's really small space and I know you have kind of like all that big space out front. If you even want to call it a front, I don't even know. <laughs> How do you determine that in a penthouse? What's the front or the back if you are coming from below it? Huh. Anyway, I really like that spot because one, what an incredible view. I couldn't imagine having a view like that. Um, but I also personally don't think I can live in a penthouse or even a high rise. I just don't think that's for me. Uh, but I really liked the view was nice and yeah, there's definitely plenty of space there for activities. Like I said, a chess table and a telescope, but you can switch out whatever you want here. I tried to put that new dog statue because that dog is so cute. But then I was like, wait, He's a cat person. Why would he have a dog statue? So another note to use in my next build. I also started finally watching other people's content for Love Struck because I didn't want to be spoiled before. And now that I've been in the game for a little bit, I was like, okay, I can start watching everyone's cool builds and things and videos. And I was like, they were pulling things out that I was like, I didn't see that. Like, I didn't realize we have a new roof trim. I'm like, so I can't wait to use that and like even a new roof swatch I had no idea I I really don't know how I missed that but if you guys were around for that first one you probably know that was like a nightmare for me to do because I was having so many issues with the game I had a lot less issues this time because I did take out all my mods so that very much helped <laughs> at least while we wait to get updates and things but so if you are having any issues and you use mods and stuff, I would definitely suggest just, just remove them for now and wait a little bit, I guess, until, you know, things happen. But I know we also had a patch in between me building that first one and this one too. So maybe that helped. But here we're working on the first bathroom and I think I kept both bathrooms on camera this time around, which is kind of funny for me. That doesn't happen very often. You guys are so lucky. Um, but it's pretty simple. Up here we just have just a single shower, the sink, just a little bit of clutter, but not too much. I imagine this more so being like a guest bathroom. Um, when people come over or maybe a date comes over and I don't know, it, it is what it is. But I thought having a shower down here was helpful because you do have the pool. And if someone wants to like rinse off before or after, because I know sometimes that chlorine can dry out your skin. And I think that was very important to kind of have that option as well. Now we are in the bedroom, which is, let's be real, where all the magic is going to happen here, right? So I did attempt to try and use one of the beds from Lovestruck. The heart-shaped one, I tried it. And I think there is another one that isn't like the, like run down kind of messy in between bed um but i didn't think they were fitting the vibe i really didn't and i really tried so we pulled out the modern lux bed because the swatch just honestly worked here and i was like yeah this is good so it, it's kind of a bummer i couldn't get that heart-shaped bed to work yet in a build but i am going to i promise i'm going to maybe in the next one fingers crossed um, I keep talking about the next one, but let's focus on this one. Okay. So we definitely had to get the floral wallpaper back out. It is so gorgeous. And this time I used it in this beautiful green swatch to match this beautiful, simple green wallpaper. And then what else are we doing here? I decided to get more woohoo locations in this build, but this closet ends up going on the next floor above here. 
and instead we put like a cat tree there because I definitely wanted to include a cat tree. But don't worry, we'll have more opportunities for, you know, more spaces for the fun stuff for your sims. Um, here is just a nice little bench that I made with some dream home decorator cabinets and merging in an ottoman from I think that's the high school years and of course I had to get this little cute penguin plushie in here because uh, the plushies are just so cute in this build. Um, I played around with more lighting but decided not to and of course I got this hanging planter wall piece here and right now I'm putting bookshelves here but that's going to change and I will put a dresser there because I do get rid of that closet. So I thought it'd be pretty important for your sim to have somewhere to put their clothes while they're down here instead of having to go up the ladder to get their clothes because jeez that would be annoying. Um, I'm really happy we have these new lots on penthouses so and I like that they are smaller so maybe I can get a little more comfortable with the idea of penthouses and kind of figure that out and maybe eventually head over to San Myshuno and try my luck over there. Fingers crossed that I get the confidence to do that. So please be nice. Um, what else about this build or even the updates? We can now do rentals, like apartment rentals on penthouse lots. So that's been pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I'd build anything for that anytime soon. That seems like a pretty big project that I don't think I can take on right now, but I would love to do that in the future. I've seen some simmers already do that, so that's pretty cool. Um, I think having that option definitely opens up a lot of doors and you can blend in the building to the kind of like the debug apartment below. Um, but yeah. <laughs> We are now at the point of the video where I am going to be getting a little rambly. Maybe I've been a little rambly for a few minutes actually, but don't mind me. Um, here we are doing the second bathroom. I got another litter box here. Just this cat is spoiled. Okay. Or maybe you have two cats. I don't know. Um, my cat wishes she had two litter boxes, but no, definitely not. So up here, I already knew this was going to be like a gym space, but I also needed to get this rug in somewhere. <laughs> okay, I needed more options for Woohoo. So we have the costume chest here for your Sims. You know, if you know what I mean, you know, you can do a little dress up and have some fun. Um, but also you can work out here and that's cool too. And I got this snake skin wallpaper, which I really need to use more of because hello, snake skin wallpaper, Simderin, a snake. We need to do it. Stay tuned. <laughs> anyway, um, and more of this gorgeous artwork because, I mean, that swatch is just lovely. I love it. Um, but yeah, on, up on this balcony, we have a hot tub because you need another place. You know what I mean? <laughs> so pretty much this bachelor is ready to have some fun, but also he's pretty serious and very well-rounded. And who knows? Maybe one day he'll find love and settle down with a nice gal or, or fella, you know? I think that would be nice. Who knows? That's up to you guys if you choose to play that storyline out. Um, let me know also if you are enjoying Love Struck. I think I asked you that already, but if you made it this far, then you guys are awesome and you should definitely let me know if you're enjoying it. And if you haven't gotten it yet, if you're enjoying the videos and the content that everyone is sharing because I know I am and it's always a good time seeing everyone kind of come together in this community. But of course as we wrap up this build I hope you guys stick around for screenshots and all the things but I want to thank EA again for giving me access to this code. I'm having a ton of fun with it and I can't wait to continue having more fun with it. And then, of course, if you choose to get the pack, use my creator code that is always going to be listed down below. It's just Simdarin. But I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.